Uh, the half four kickoff <laughs> on Sunday. North London derby. Arsenal Tottenham from the Emirates Stadium. Both teams are in opposite form. Arsenal have started to get going their last two games, where Spurs are in a bit of a decline over their last two games since this international break. Who knows how to call this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's really confusing because my like, Arsenal's two wins have been 1 0 victories. Spurs' three victories at the start of the season were also 1 0 victories, and then They've both shipped in a lot of goals. Like Spurs have conceded six, Arsenal conceded nine. Obviously, not the worst in the league. You got to look at the teams uh, like Leeds, Newcastle, and Norwich, who have all conceded more than Arsenal. But at the same time, this game, I think, it'll either go one of two ways: both teams will be bad defendingly, and there'll be lots of goals scored, or it will be a boring nil-nil. And I'm leaning more towards the latter personally. I was going to say, I could see goals, but still slightly boring. Yeah. The thing for me that's going to decide how this goes is if Harry Kane finds himself. I mean, he bloody needs to find something, whether it's himself or his shooting game, boots. If there's a game where he surely will find himself again, it is the North London knob. Yeah, because he always seems to get fired up for it and ends up scoring in the North London derby um, but yeah this season he's been nowhere for Tottenham but for England he's been involved in their goals and uh, amongst it all for Gareth Southgate's side yet this, is it the fact that he didn't get this move in the summer to Manchester City that's why he hasn't started so well or is it due to them literally just down to the lack of pre-season and obviously coming back late from the Euros it sounds like you're suggesting he's happier in one place than he is the other. Well, yes. I mean, I think that's me stating the obvious because everyone else has stated it realistically. Purely speculation. Yes. Just speculation. Uh, but yeah, I think, like you said, this is the type of game where he does find his shooting boots and can get amongst the goals if it is, like you said, a goal fest. But we also have that where it could just be a really boring game and no team want to lose it obviously because it's your biggest rivals but I can definitely see a red card happening in this game of course you can is Xhaka back <laughs> I'm not too sure where he is actually it would have been three game bans so yeah, I don't think he will be but no this will be his still, last there's one there's enough players on there yeah no, there's enough players out there to still get a red card in this game mm. imagine if it's Kane himself <laughs> Jesus, that would probably sum up his season. Wouldn't it? He'd end up missing the next three games for Spurs, which after this North London derby uh, this weekend, they've got Aston Villa, Newcastle and West Ham, which would be three games you'd expect him to get on the score sheet. So Spurs fans and Harry Kane himself will be hoping that uh, he doesn't be the player that gets sent off this weekend. I'd, I'd pulled a face when you said my team, but then again... We are the charity, so... Exactly. 